all-time splurge-worthy meal for you right now. And this is one of Greta's favorites. So we're going to be making chicken pot pie chowder. Yes, yes. And I, you know, it's kind so of the good. runaway hit from my new cookbook. And it surprised me because I love it. I've always made it. I know people like comfort food, but it just wasn't one that I thought people would go, okay, that's the best thing I've ever tasted, right? right? But because there's it. Because there's so many recipes to choose from, but I'm starting to get a lot of feedback on it now. And I think good. it's easy. Everybody in the family likes it. It's just um, like healthy comfort food, a classic really. It's like yes. the filling from chicken pot pie in a soup form. Right. right. And okay. for, for folks that, you know, the filling is their favorite thing, yeah. this is all they've ever wanted. Right. Also, you're using the rotisserie, chi a rotisserie chicken once again. So I this am. is making, this is a shortcut again. It's yes. making it a little easier. Yeah, because we need chicken for this. So yeah. I'm just going to chop some celery. And in the pot, we have onions and garlic yeah. cooking. You could cook them in a little bit of butter or, or olive oil, whichever you prefer. Smelling good. Yeah. And then we're going to put the celery in. I like to cut them pretty small. I don't like giant chunks of anything in my soup. Mm -hmm. So you can go ahead and stir that. And then we're going to add the uh, spices to that. They're going to give it the chicken pot pie flavor. Okay. So this is thyme. Maybe. And then we have poultry seasoning, a little bit of that. Okay. And uh, some salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. It's starting to smell good in here. You know, you mentioned it up. about people loving the filling. Um, and I didn't want people to be feel that they weren't getting the biscuit part of this because yes. it doesn't have the crust like a pot pie. Uh -huh. So I also give you a recipe for whole wheat pumpkin biscuits, which I brought right here. <sighs> those that look people amazing. Can make. And, and it's in the baked good section of the book. Um, and you can make those and dunk them in. But if you want to eat them on their own, I also uh, teach you how to make a maple cinnamon butter to go on top oh of the pumpkin gosh. pie biscuits. So <laughs> that sounds amazing. We might amazing. have to bake those in another day. Yes. Okay, so that pumpkin is so good for you. Right. Yeah. And so, oh. okay, so the spices have been woken up because you've been stirring them around in the heat. Now I'm going to add, uh, this is um, some cubed potatoes okay. and uh, some chicken broth. So this is the hardiness okay. right here. So what's going to happen here is you're going to bring that to a boil and then you're going to cook it for about 10 minutes at a simmer and that means the potatoes are almost done. Okay. okay? Then we're going to add, these are frozen peas and carrots. So again, a little shortcut, something yeah. that people buy all the time that's inexpensive. And don't freak out when I put this in my chicken pot pie, okay? Go for it. It's it's a can of cream corn. Okay. Now people are like, that just sounds weird. It's not weird. <laughs> cream corn is not cream, okay? It is basically basically like corn and water pureed a little bit, okay. right? And what this does is it gives it richness, thickness, flavor, mm -hmm. just that little tiny hint of sweet. Okay. Oh yeah, and I can smell it. I can right? smell and the sweet. It, even, it's starting to look really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then after that has been boiling, and then you added the peas and carrots, another five minutes of simmering, yeah. and then what we do is cornstarch, and this is, I'm using half and half cream here. It's only a cup. Okay. You could use 5% cream if you want. Regular milk's a little bit too wimpy, so if I if I only had, if I didn't want to use cream, I would use evaporated milk, because okay. it's, more, it's more concentrated, and yes. it'll give you the creamy flavor without the fat, if that's a concern to you. Yeah. So that goes in, and obviously we're not boiling this yet but if we then that would thicken it up nicely and then we would come to this stage right here nice right? okay so overall how long would the whole Let's thing not take forget the think? rotisserie chicken right right let's so, throw in the chicken right so I just used the breast for this because uh, that was a lot it's two big cups yeah. of rotisserie chicken breast and just save the legs for another purpose okay? okay so it comes to this and then we're adding the parsley at the end and I know a lot of times people say with parsley oh really like does it add anything can I just leave it out I never put ingredients in my recipes that don't matter, okay. right? And so it's gonna make it look more visually appealing, yeah. which we eat with our eyes first, and it really does add a little bit of flavor. And then, you know. Well, we've got a final one right here. This We're putting it on our website. That is cityline.tv. It is comfort food mm. done at its very best, and it is healthy for you.